IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and as you can see this is my desktop computer and the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do. So in this video we're going to be working with Python. I haven't done a Python video in a few months so we are going to be working with txt files. So how to generate something and save it uh, to a txt file. Okay so uh, uh, this is my channel my IT workshop and if you scroll down I have some videos about Python automation if you're into that so how to connect to uh, SSH to a Cisco device it can be any other device but Cisco is what I use the most and you have many other scripts to out for automation as you can see here so if you're interested in that you can click on the top right of this screen for the playlist okay so that's what we're going to do today so before we start uh, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet so what we're going to generate as you have read in the title are mac addresses so a mac address if you don't remember are the physical address of every device that can connect to a network okay so this is the mac address for my desktop computer the one i use every day so as you can see the format is like this so i'm going to copy this really quick and there are many formats for this. I'm going to show you in, in a few more seconds. So as you can see here, a uh, MAC address is uh, composed of numbers and letters. So the numbers grow, go from zero to nine and the letters from A to F, okay? So that those are the rules that we have to follow to generate MAC addresses. You can generate anything. It's not only MAC addresses. You can generate uh, email addresses, um, phone numbers or anything that you need in my case what i sometimes have to arrange are mac addresses okay not generate them maybe but i i receive a bunch of mac addresses and i have to do a reservation so i need to um uh, i need to uh, convert them into a valid uh, format for example talking about formats as you can see here this is a format it has uh, two two letters or numbers dash another two letters or number dash 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 until the end so i have uh there are other ways to enter to show a mac address as you can see here this is the one i just show you and this is the other with it has columns and this is the other every three digits it has a dot a period so there are different ways to do it so we're going to do that in another video but in this one we're going to generate mac addresses okay so i'm going to put this down and now we're going to start so i'm going to i have already my python uh, a new document it's called generate mac addresses so i'm going to copy this just to have it as a reference i'm going to um, comment this so the first thing we're going to do is import random so this is a library that allow us to to generate uh, numbers uh, letters and all that so the, th the first thing we have to do is, uh, like I mentioned, a uh, MAC address is, uh, uh, it, it has letters, well, numbers and letters, right? So from, again, from zero to nine, numbers and letters from A to F. So that's what we have to do first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to generate the letters. So I'm going to create a, a function, um, dev uh, random, you can call it anything that you like, of course, uh, random letters or random letter so after that we're going to generate so I'm going to call this letter options so we need uh, a range of options that that we may have we cannot we are not going to use the whole the, the entire alphabet so we're going to check that so this is going to be equal to uh, um, what is called um, an array well and this one is going, well, a list, I'm sorry, it's called a list. So I'm going to put all the letters that we need, like that. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F. So, and we are going to return, why is it in capitals? We're going to return random choice. So this is the one of the methods that random has. So choice is going to allow us to select random letters from a source. So the source is going to be letter options. Okay, so we are going to just copy paste this variable, which is holding all the letters that we can use. And that's pretty much it. So if I if I were to 
call this function. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to save it, run, run module. And as you can see, oh, my bad. I have to print it. Print, I forgot about that. So we're going to run it. And as you can see, it's giving me a letter, a random letter between A and F. So I'm going to close it and I'm going to run it again. Boom, and it gives us another. So it's working, it's generating random letters, okay? So then, uh, again, it, it, they don't have to be MAC addresses, they can be numbers, they can be anything that you may like. So the next thing we're going to do is the same where we're going to, we don't really, well, we're going to comment this for now. Well, I'm going to leave it like that. So the next thing we really need to do is another function to generate numbers. So I'm going to copy this over here and I'm going to call it uh, random number. So this is going to be kind of the same. We are going to have the uh, on the range. It's not like this, but a little lower. So this one is going to call number options. Number options. So this is going to go from one to from zero to nine or one to zero. Okay. So here is an important thing. As you know, I can define a number like this, right? One, two, three, two, and all that. But we when we want to print this it's going to try to add it. So it's going to try to add uh, a plus one. And that is not going to work because you cannot do that. So I have to save the numbers as strings, okay? So that's the only catch. So we have to put it as strings like this. And I'm going to complete it up to uh, zero. Okay. These are all the numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, or you can start in 0 and uh, end in 9, okay? So then we're going to return also the same thing here. So we just copy paste it, and the only thing we change is uh, the list. So we're going to do it like this, okay? By the way, you can also do it the uh, this way. I'm just going to show this here. Uh, choice, cho choice number, well, choice, and here you can create the list. So you can put one, two, three, four. You can do it that way as well. There is no problem with that. So then what else do we have to do? Then we have to do, we have to do it randomly. You know, you have to do it randomly. But first, let me try this out. So I'm going to print these two guys over here and you're going to be random number. So we save it and we're going to run it. Invalid uh, return random choice return one oh i <laughs> no what did i do here it is so i made a mistake here this is return so now it's going to work save it run it and as you can see here it's generating just random numbers in that list so c1 so it's working so the next thing we need to do is to um as you know um, I'm using this one as an example. We have to generate this guy. Uh, this is going to be a random, this is going to be random, random. Everything is going to be random. So we need to choose that function. So I'm going to uh, define random function like that. And this one is going to return something. Well, what am I copying it? So return a random choice random choice so here is where i'm going to do exactly that i have two options and you know what the options are that we're going to generate these functions so random letter over here boom and random number over here so what we are doing here is we are going to generate that function that is going to call these other two functions and is going to choose any one of these anyone at random and it's going to generate either a number or a, or a letter. So we have that, and then we need to, to decide how many MAC addresses we are going to generate. But first, I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to copy this, I'm going to print it over here, print like that, I'm going to save it, and I'm going to run it. So as you can see over here, is generating the first one is only letters. We see a random letter between the range. Uh, print random number, we have any random number, and print random function. So for this iteration, it chose randomly numbers. So let's run it again and see if we get something else. So as you can see here, in, well, we know this, we know this, and this one before was a number, 
now it generated an, a letter because it chose it chose randomly from these two options. Okay, so that's what we are doing. So I close this, and the next step is going to we're going to print we're going to actually uh, say hey how many MAC addresses in this case how many things are going to be generated. So this is going to be another function. I'm going to call it number of MAC addresses like that, and this one is going to have a number so we are going to need a variable there that which is the number that we want how many 100 22 3 4 5 so so i'm going to start with a counter equals zero because we have to iterate the the times we need so i'm going to use a while counter minor number 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 and now we are going to actually use the file so the file i have for this video is this one so uh, this one over here generated mac addresses as you can see i see my other screen it's empty and another thing this uh, file cannot even exist so i can delete it and it's going to create it itself okay but if it finds it it's going to be populated so for that this part is a little long now we're going to use the commands well what i'm doing again so with this with open we have to fill out the path. So if I come here, the path, I'm using a Windows computer, of course, and this is the entire path for this, for where the document is, for this uh, folder. So I'm going to copy paste it, but this has to be between, paren no, not parentheses, quotation marks like that. And there is one more thing. If, you, if we use it like it is right now, it's not going to work. So we need to add the double backward slash, and that way it's going to work. So we have the folder, and now we need the name. So it generated MAC addresses. I'm going to click rename and I'm just going to copy paste it like that. And we put it over here, that txt, right? So then add, this is something, all what I'm doing is the property of Python to write into files. So what we're doing, let me finish this, I'm going to explain. As you can choose any letter, F. So what I'm doing here, this is just syntaxes from Python with open. Okay, so that's kind of something you have to memorize to open a file. <clears throat> with open, you give it all the path and the name of the, I forgot one of these guys here, and the name of the file. In this case, it's MAC address.txt. And this one is to, uh, if I remember correctly, A stands for at uh, append, I'm sorry. So everything we do is going to automatically save. You're going to see it in a few more seconds. We can also replace it by Y, I mean W, read, and all that. But in this case, I'm going to keep it as A. And as F, you can choose any letter here, can be a DS, can, it's just a variable. Uh, the convention is F, doesn't really make a difference, but you have to type that. And now we are going to actually create how it has to look. Again, if we go back up, where is my folder? And let me do it a little smaller. I believe it's down over here. Yeah, here it is. So we need this. It has to look like this. So we are going to generate this guy. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is f right using the, the variable over here, this f. And we're going to use. So with this, we are opening the file. Okay. So now we're going to write it. We're going to save something like it. So write random function over here well all of this random function where are you boom plus random function function plus dash so what am i doing here so i'm choosing random function so it's going to generate either a number or a letter because random function is the collection of these two other functions which returns either a number or a letter okay so then i'm going to add it to another one why because we need two two over here and then we need to add uh, a dash. So we have this over here, right? So that's what I'm, I'm doing. That's why I converted this to, I mean, the numbers to strings. Because if I did this, I did it already, and it's going to give you an error. It's going to tell me you cannot add numbers to letters because you cannot do it. So it has to be letters. Okay, that's why I did it like this over here. So we have that, and then we have to repeat this a few more times. We have to repeat it one, two, three, four, five more times. I'm just going to copy paste it and uh, like that. And I'm going to go to the next with plus. So I'm going to just go, I mean, you can do it all in one line over here, 
but I mean, it's going to be super long. So I'm just going to do it like this. So like that. So we have one, two, three, four, five. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And I'm forgetting the plus. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So plus, plus, plus. And the last one, which is going to be this one, doesn't need a, a dash. So I'm going to delete it like that. So I'm going to save it. And then uh, the other thing that we need is a counter. So we have a counter and we have to increase the counter by one every time it does that until it until it reaches the number. So in this case, the number, well, we're going to test it with five and then we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to uh, add the counter equal uh, plus equal one. So it's going to increase by one all the time. So we're going to test it out now. So as you can see, I'm going to show you again, uh, generate a MAC addresses, it's empty. So let's see what happens. So I save it, run, run module. Okay, well, it's still printing this three over here. Okay, that doesn't matter. So let's open now this guy. MAC addresses, and it's not saving anything. Generated MAC addresses. So why is not saving it? We have the counter. Uh, oh, of, of course, of course. Of course, it's not going to generate anything because I didn't call it. I didn't call the function. So I'm going to copy this over here. And how many times? Well, we can really delete this. We don't really need it anymore. Um, so number of MAC addresses. We're going to generate five. As you see, the number here is the one we need. So it's going to do all this process five times. So I'm going to save it, run it again. And it should be quick. So let's open it again, generate MAC addresses. And as you can see, it's working. It's generated the MAC addresses. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and the, there should be a space here, right? But it's not doing it. So we have to add that. So I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to close this. And what we are missing is um, enter uh, and a space. So I'm going to just write that right after it had it has finished with one one iteration is going to print this one like that so i'm going to save it uh, i'm going to open it again where is this guy so generate my addresses it's it's empty now i'm going to run it what's the, the object no attribute white it's right 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 made a mistake there so it has finished i don't have any errors so let's open the file. And as you can see here, here it is. I don't know why it's doing it like this. I'm going to save it. I'm going to close this. And we're going to run it again. So everything should be good here. Dun, 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 dun. Save it, run it again. Okay, that should be quick. Generate the MAC addresses. And now it's working. It's printing the way I want. So as you can see here with the one, two, three, four, five. Let's try with 10. So we close this, let's try with 10. So save it, run it, and let's see again. Draw Maca, no, it's not that one. It generated Mac addresses. So we have 10 over here. So what happens if I don't delete it? So as you can see, I'm going just to close it because it's saved. And now I'm going to add another, I don't know, 20. So run it. Let's see what happens. I can close this, it was very quick. And as you can see, it's appending, it's adding to what it already has. So we are not deleting anything, okay? So we, we can delete it or we can keep it. So it's generating a lot of MAC addresses. I'm going to close this. And now, this is technically how, not technically, this is how you do it, as you can see here. It's a kind of short script if you want to generate some things. So let's say, in this case, we're generating MAC addresses. What if you want to generate IP addresses? What if you want to generate them? Uh, uh, I don't know, names for any, you want to create names for people or something, you have to follow different rules, but this is how you do it. You want to generate phone numbers, emails, or anything that you might, that you might need, this is the way you can do it. So in the next video, we're going to read from a file that it's already done, okay? So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video again and subscribe to the channel. This is Alvin Drill, and I'll see you in the next video.